Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? They, I want to be giving you seven good reasons why you shouldn't marry that man you're about getting married to. Es difícil disimular lo que pasa por mi mente. Guess what? You're welcome. Cetro's vlog today. I remain Jacket Cetro. And this is one of our marriage series on Cetro's vlog. And if you are new on this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our videos. Yeah, what are we discussing today? An interesting word. Seven good reasons why you shouldn't marry that guy you are about marrying to. Number one is just so handsome. Uh, and so what? There are so many handsome guys that all they do is just what? Go about to the gym, building their bodies and trying to look good. And they are just slave to women. And they don't, as they're building their chest, they are not building their what? They are not building their brain. If he's handsome, nice looking, big chest, everything fine, just marry him. That will put food on the table for you, you know? Oh, that is your case. Don't marry him. Yeah, comment below. You can actually be a bouncer. Bouncer. Can work okay, as a bouncer in a hotel. <laughs> Don't marry him. Don't marry a guy mm -hmm. if he's just handsome. Mm. What we're trying to say is not that all fine boys are not marriable, but what we're trying to say is that what majority or larger percentage of those that are good looking most of the time when it gets into their head, they are actually lazy and they might not be the right kind of husband for you. Yeah, so that's number one, why you shouldn't marry him. And you want to think of it, number two, he's so rich, stinkingly rich, I must just get married to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will be treated, actually, do you want to know it, like one of the current assets that can be jumped, that can be disposed, and he will, he, you will not be valuable in his side because you just married him for riches. What do you know about After that? After all, when you're a big boy, you have the house, you have the Escalade, you have the... You know, you have the best of cars and all those stuff. Different, different girls will just be around you and you can just acquire them like assets, you know. <laughs> just set them in one place or the other. Fine boy, rich boy. So what do you think? It. So if you are looking at getting married to a guy just because of his water, just because of his pepper, just because of his money, is a sorry case. Yes, so because you actually know that that poor guy that is the right man for you that you're looking at today, tomorrow he might be the great prince of Egypt. So don't just marry for riches' sake. Riches do grow wings. But I tell fly. you, it's not so good to marry a poor boy, you know? Marry us, big boy, living okay. in Lekki. I just, okay. I just used to come to mainland, though. I'm a Lekki boy. To me, Jock, etc. Yeah. Oh, you're for you. Yeah. Don't mind him. He has three kids already. So, number three is... His family loves me a lot. Number three, you want to marry a guy because his family loves you. No, come think about it. Is this family members that are going to live with you in the house? Is the one that is going to be sleeping with you? And if he's already showing you that he's not interested in you, he can do without you, men, delete him out of your sense. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, you know, it's also very, very good that the family of the guy loves you. Uh, so that they will have this war, you know, this royal acceptance. Ah, what is that one? This is our wife, oh, you know, that kind of prestige, prestigious stuff. And when they are doing party, you really want to be caring for more, to be arranging everything, to be carrying to on your head because you are the wife of the family. Oh, yeah, it's okay, so. One of those days when all those lyrics really, really do work. You know, I'm just rapping. I'm just trying to try, 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 try my rapping skill, you know. But if you actually need to get married to that guy, don't marry him because of family alone. If the guy doesn't love you, they will send you out of that same family. Yeah. So number four, I mm. told you seven good reasons. Number four, Genge, he's a pastor. Really? He's a pastor? <laughs> I'm so, so, so sorry for you. Spirituality, it's not only the yardstick for marrying a guy. If he's so spiritual and yet he's lazy, sleeps all night, he prays for you, and yet he's not really active as in doing one thing or the other, I want to tell you, you can just be together like that and live a life that is not really fulfilled. Hmm. So it's not just by saying he's a pastor. It's, it doesn't come he prays from morning till night, and he doesn't have something productive that he's into, I tell you, he's not the right person for you, because there is a part of the scripture that he can also quote while beating you. 
<laughs> it's always very, very sensible nowadays that ladies, even those that are wayward, they always like to come back to the church to come and pick a very godly man. I wish you the best of those godly, <laughs> those so-called godly men. But in the actual sense, as a good girl that wants to get settled and enjoy your marriage, don't just look at it that because he's a pastor, he's going to treat me well. Mm-mm. There are so many, many, many devil in suit and tie, you know, quoting scriptures. <laughs> and when they are even beating you, they'll be saying, hi, they'll be speaking in some unknown tongues. Five, number five, do you want to he- hear this? You want to listen to this? Number five, is so, so, so romantic. Oh, that's all part. You should not joke with ladies, you know, you know, nah, nah. It's always very, very good to have a romantic husband, just as capable like me. You can see how I've been doing like a Roman, Roam, roaming about. If you need to give yourself this sense, life is not all about the romantic aspect of life. There are some challenges you are going to face in marriage that you will not even be able to spell the word room. That's not the romantic. So what do you think about that? So what I think is, I'll advise you remove that word room and be, be, be left with that word romantic and see actually if it's romantic is not. And who tells you that as he's playing the Roman guy, Roman as he's the Roman player, he's not doing so to other guys. He's not actually being romantic to other girls, I mean. So just check and be sure it's actually man enough, not just being romantic. And the funny thing is that the guy might just be a room. <laughs> You know what I mean by that? You can just be someone that is roaming about with all the ladies and it's just ladies, men, and you are falling into that romantic escapade. Oh, you just come on like carnival. You know what they say, come on like carnival. Mm. Then you now see that, <clears throat> this man is not my woman. He's anyway. just a passerby. He's just, a room. Yeah. He's just <laughs> roaming about. Okay, good word. Number six. Mm. Why you shouldn't marry that guy you think of marrying? He sleeps all night. He sleeps all night. <laughs> Once it's 8.30, your man is already sleeping. And he wakes up 7 o'clock. It's a sign that you should just pack your bag and start running. I've never seen great people that sleep through the night. Is either you are researching, is either you are looking for what to do, is either you are improving on what you are already doing, or is either you are praying because it is at night that destinies are baited and it is at night that destinies are wasted. So if your guy is the one that sleeps all through the night, I tell you, your family is at risk. For a man who sleeps all the night, I'm telling you, the best you will be in that family is just you just live in an average lifestyle. So sex people are people that have been able to move beyond or beyond or above average lifestyle. And for you to move above average lifestyle, I'm telling you, you need more than the normal 24 hours to work. And if you need more than 24 hours and 24 hours cannot be expanded, that means you have to encroach into the night. So you need a man that sleeps less. Yes. Somebody like me. <laughs> a man that sleeps less and he, because destinies and ideas are... I know you're sleeping less. So someone can be sleeping less I'm and watching they're watching movies. I'm chair. talking of people that are spending Crazy. enough time to research into the next thing they need to do, improving on their skills, improving on the way they treat their wife, improving... Like, I've improved on the way I'm treating my wife now. I'm taking out some, some nice bookers. <laughs> this guy. I call him this guy. This guy. Fine this boy. Guy. The only fine boy is the called guy. <laughs> But when how you know that you are not fine again is when your husband, your wife is referring to you as this papa nigga. <laughs> papa mad look at you know enjoy me. Unjo, I will enjoy you. Okay now, yeah, yeah, yeah. The last but not the least for oh. this segment and for ladies, uh, for guys, please watch out for seven good reasons why you shouldn't marry her. Ah, so that I'll be, I'll be very very ready for females. So that it's not just like uh, seven good reasons why you shouldn't marry him. So. Seven good reasons why you shouldn't marry her. 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 Because you can't even marry. I'm already married. I have three kids. So information girls, girls just I always say. Mm. So seven good reasons. The number seven reason why you shouldn't marry him is that you know what? He's very, really, really, really. He's always telling lies and quickly apologizes. Somebody ah. like me. I don't like. I don't lie in the afternoon, except in the morning. <laughs> And another person will say, oh no, I don't usually lie. I just lie occasionally to protect the interest of our relationship. Do you know what? 
If a guy you've not you've not started spending money to now with him and he's lying to you and he thinks you are an idiot like uh, and he apologizes to you instantly and you forgive him and what is even when you catch him on another lady he's actually sleeping on another lady and you caught him right and he's still apologizing and he knows that you will quickly accept ah uh, or more. You better open your eyes. That's not a good place to go to. Because by the time you get in there, oh, you will just know like, oh, my wife is too cheap. I can't even bring the girl inside and she's not going to do anything. So what are we trying to say? When you see all these red flags, these seven signs, hmm. yes, you should, and you, should do you should try to reverse. But concerning the last point you just raised, when you are not going with a guy that is by name Lai Mohammed, <laughs> Don't let me. <laughs> we are in Nigeria, please. <laughs> when your guy is not like Mohammed, why will he be lying and lying and lying and lying? Tell him to go and get that government. <laughs> okay, you understand if you are in Nigeria. Yeah, so that, that's just it. So please, before you actually go and seal this relationship up in marriage, you have to cross your T's and dot your I's. Because once you are getting married to someone, your destiny is set forever. You can only turn out to be an ex. Like nothing like a miss again. The miss of anybody that is out that was married before and out is a miss with a K leg. <laughs> miss with a K leg. So, so, so we don't want you to experience that. So it's better you take your time. What we're just trying to say is not that everybody that is a rich is handsome and that they're not good for marriage, but we're just trying to tell you that you should just check very well. If your guy is the kind of guy that is always ah uh, attention 247, looking at how beautiful, handsome he is, chest white and all the stuff. Be that is a signal. The guy is not going to be a very useful husband, he's going to be a liability in the pot of soup. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> the ability in the pot of soup. <laughs> okay. Anyways, you will see me doing some cookie. Oh my god. Okay, now, please, because if I leave Mr. Setro, he's a verse bus speaker. If it's verse bus speaker. He's going to continue saying this all day long. Mm. So we just have to wrap up this segment today on Setro's blog. Before we wrap up, I want you to subscribe to this channel. I want you to share our videos. I want you to like and I want you to see your comment because this young man is taking this man. Did I say man? He's taking this woman <laughs> out. <laughs> See you. <laughs> okay, love bye -bye. you. We're so interested in you. Thank you so very much. We'll come your way next time. Bye bye. 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 Bye b